everyone, welcome back to another Biz Talks episode. So today here I have René, who is the head of admissions at SSVM Geneva. So welcome. Thank you, Gal. Um, so if you could just tell us a little bit about yourself, what you currently do in your position, and maybe it would be interesting for our listeners to hear just what happens in the admissions process and uh, how the communication goes. Of course. Uh, so hi, my name is René. I'm the head of the admissions. Uh, I'm also a DBA coordinator. Uh, so basically, uh, with these two roles, uh, I'm in charge of the admission process for all SSBM students. Uh, there is a big team and I lead the team uh, and guide them uh, regarding the enrollment. So um, I think it would be great also to hear about SSBM Geneva in general. So we have a campus in Geneva, in Zagreb, Croatia. We're in the process of opening up a campus in Paris. Um, so if you could just tell us more about what our students are like, maybe where they're from, kind of the professors, so people just get the general overview. Yeah, of course. Uh, so basically we have students from uh, coming from 147 countries. Mm -hmm. Um, there are really international groups of students, also for our campus and also online programs. Uh, we have international mentors and uh, professor lecturers. Uh, more, more than 70% of them hold a PhD degree, which is really important and it's really uh, valuable for a business school. And basically, um, we do have as you mentioned uh, campus and uh, online programs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have uh, students in Zagreb instructional site, so it's yes. not exactly, we, we label the Geneva campus as our primary campus, so uh, which is fantastic. Um, so let's focus today on our MBA program. So that's the whole point of this kind of talk. So can you tell us what the MBA program looks like on campus and online and what can students um, look forward to? Of course. So basically we have a few different uh, MBA programs in Geneva campus. Mm -hmm. We have global and executive MBA, we have international uh, MBA in sports law, and we also have a new Swiss-French uh, MBA program. All of the programs are held in campus. Uh, they're all uh, in English language. Mm -hmm. And basically uh, all our international students meet on campus, they attend lectures, mm -hmm. uh, they do some projects, uh, we also have some company visits, Amazing. so yeah. it's really a variety of different uh, activities. Yeah, activities. Yeah, that's really exciting and we have really good professors as well, which is also exciting. So how does the application process really look like? So we have uh, someone who's interested in joining us, which is fantastic. So who do they communicate with? What do they need to do? What's the process like? Uh, yeah, so basically it's really easy. Uh, our admission teams deals with all the requests uh, and all potential students. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a few options. So we have some emails, contact and admissions, uh, where students can talk contact us directly. Mm -hmm. We also have application on our website where students can send their application. They can submit some documents and required things that the school asks for. Mm -hmm. uh, and our admission teams basically go through all the documents mm -hmm. and then we send information to the student if the student has been approved or not, mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. some documents are missing, mm -hmm. etc. And also really important thing that I think is um, really important to mention is basically that we offer online meetings mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. uh, any student uh, who is potential student who is interested can arrange an online meeting with uh, somebody yeah. from the admission office yeah. where we answer all of the questions mm -hmm. Uh, in lives. So. Yeah, so people can see who they're talking with, yes. maybe take a look at the campus as well, or talk over the phone or over email. Yeah. So for the online uh, program, MBA programs, it's a similar process. They can also call up and discuss uh, any options of course. with uh, with the admissions team. And if I'm not mistaken, so for the online MBA programs, there's no intake. They can start kind of when they want to. Yes, that's correct. So mm -hmm. basically we have online programs. Mm -hmm. uh, you can start at any time mm -hmm. during the year. Uh, students also contact us every day. Uh, they ask for a meeting, they mm -hmm. call us and uh, also really often they ask for scholarships. Yes, that's also something I was going yes. to touch upon. So 
do we do we offer scholarships how does that process work what do the students need to do yeah. so a few times a year we do offer a bigger scholarship mm -hmm. contest uh, where basically we offer uh, more than five scholarships mm -hmm. uh, it depends from program to program uh, and also students can contact us directly and ask for um, any discount based on their GPA mm -hmm. their previous education and professional experience mm -hmm. and also uh, regarding the payments if they yeah. want to pay in one pay, uh, installment they will also receive a discount for one installment mm -hmm. um, and also really uh, what they sometimes ask is also uh, financial part yeah so basically we do offer installments so if students are interested in paying installments that's possible but we always tell them to contact us directly ask mm -hmm. in how many installments uh, they, they want, would like to yeah, pay, pay. Mm -hmm. We also discuss it with our finance department yeah. and uh, we arrange we'll something for yeah, the students. Yeah, we go from there. So yeah. there are quite a few options for students so they don't need yeah. to be nervous when applying. So there, there are scholarships available, you can pay in installments, which is fantastic. Okay, so we also have different specializations so for the MBA program. So how does a student specifically apply for a special specialization? Uh, yes, of course, we offer specializations. Uh, we have more than 20 specializations, mm -hmm. uh, depending on which MBA program students enroll in. So for example, if a student enrolls in the global or executive mm -hmm. MBA, we send the list mm -hmm. of these uh, specializations for this program. The student will need to choose between two and four elective courses okay. which are connected with the specialization Fantastic. so just for example student can enroll in the executive MBA program mm -hmm. and the student wants specialization in marketing or data science or HRM mm -hmm. and he will need to choose two or four courses uh, which are connected with the specialization mm -hmm. so the courses are uh, really connected uh, and they are in more 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 in details regarding this specific Fantastic. specialization. Fantastic so um, for the online program, uh, how, are, how are the lectures set up? So are there live lectures? I know we have some webinars as well that we like to run. Um, the, the courses, are they pre-recorded? What does it look like realistically? Yeah, so basically we have uh, many online MBA programs. Mm -hmm. uh, they are all online in pre-recorded mm -hmm. version. That's why the students can enroll in this program at any time during the year. There is no intake dates, so basically student enrolls in the program, we enroll the student into the courses, and the student can start any time. Mm -hmm. uh, we usually recommend to the student to start with some courses. Mm -hmm. A student will also receive a personal advisor. This oh, is fantastic. the person from the admission office who mm -hmm. will be um, as a help yeah, to the student. Yeah, guiding them through, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So the personal advisor guides the student in which courses to take first, second, uh, any questions regarding finance or any uh, for example IT support mm -hmm. or anything the student mm -hmm. needs uh, he can ask his personal advisor but uh, also regarding these specializations uh, basically a student doesn't need to choose one mm -hmm. so it's up to the student mm -hmm. uh, and the most important thing is that the program uh, length is 12 months so mm -hmm. the student needs to finish the MBA program in the period of Fantastic. 12 months. And I think maybe uh, one other question, maybe one last question that we get a lot is for the accreditation of SSBM. So can you touch upon that and where we yeah. stand with that? So yes, uh, of course we have uh, ACBSP uh, accreditation and we also uh, we are also EDUCA certified. Uh, we are also one of the top business schools in Switzerland mm -hmm. uh, and we are really growing. Yeah really fast, which is really amazing. Mm -hmm. We are gathering students from all over the world, also the lecturers, yeah. lecturers, yes. um, professors. No, that's great. I mean, it's a really diverse atmosphere, so, um, and it's a great place to be definitely on campus and even online, and especially with all the live lectures in terms of webinars. So uh, there are many good options um, here, but uh, yes, do you have any kind of advice for students looking to kind of enroll? Uh, or, or just any tips and tricks to what's kind of the best process and how to go ahead? Uh, yes, of course. I would recommend to every potential student to go to our website mm -hmm. to download the brochure. Uh, everything is written there. After the reading and gathering all the information uh, to contact us mm -hmm. directly, mm -hmm. to maybe ask for some clarifications on yeah. some things. Uh, and uh, of course, 
for the meeting. Mm -hmm. Online meeting is something that is really good. Uh, and afterwards to just apply, wait for our approval. Yeah. And usually the process goes really fast. Our yes. admission office is, is working every day uh, from Monday till Friday. So basically uh, students are uh, getting mm, the information back within mm -hmm. 24 up to 48 hours. Perfect. Top. So it's yeah. great communication. Yeah. And thank you. I think now we've got a better overview of kind of how the MBA programs work, how to apply. And thank you so much for taking the time. Thank uh, you. Really appreciate it. But we're definitely going to stay tuned and we're going to be talking next about our DBA programs in the next episode. So we're really looking forward to that if you have any questions or concerns. So uh, Renee will yeah. be clarifying that as well. So yeah. thank you once again. Thank you.